Well, happy days and welcome back to Painting with Master Temple. I've got the old flat cap on. That's only because my ears are there, so don't worry about that. What we're here for is a nice big painting. So I've got this canvas. This is actually a canvas board. I don't usually like doing canvas boards, but I had it lying about. I thought, why not? Why not use it? So it's primed. I've uh, coated it in liquid white, which means it's all slick. We can blend colour up here. And we're going to do a, a little bit of a, um, if all goes to plan, a little bit of a jungly scene. Okay, uh, you know when you're traveling around in, uh, you know, like if you go to Spain and parts of France and places like that, you go out and you see the, the rocks and the mountains and palm trees and things like that. I think that's what we're going to try and create up here, up on this, uh, up on this canvas spot. So, a little tiny two inch brush and I'm going to mix, I'm going to get a little tiny bit of uh, crimson, this is a lizard crimson, and mix that just on the brush just down here nice bit of yellow ochre as well. Really tap it in and I'm just going to work up here. Uh, oh, nice little crazy looking sky. Usually when we're abroad the nice blue skies but sometimes, sometimes they can be nice and golden red. Okay we'll just put that up here. Going to be a bit nervous with camera spots because the easel doesn't hold them too well. Sometimes a good tip is to get some like uh, blue tack or, or velcro strips that you can stick to the back of the board and, and, and velcro it onto your, your easel. Okay, so a little bit more crimson in places. Oh, look at that, it's a lovely ready colour. We won't kid him, are we? We won't kid him. That will set the sky on fire. And if that happens, that's okay. So maybe go into a bit of the burnt sienna as well. Really give it some what fuzz. Yeah, just like that. There we do. The channel is growing pretty nicely, nice and steady. Every Sunday morning we do a painting, different painting. And if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, just click the subscribe button as well. It does help the channel out and it's free to do. It's free. And if you get to the end of the video, or even if you don't get to the end of the video, if you just like the video, just give it a big thumbs up. There we go, again, and if you want to send me a picture, I've got a couple of pictures that have been sent to me that, that people wouldn't mind pe me painting, just send it to me. The links to my socials, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram and all that lot, are down in the description. And I'm sure we can sort something out, give it a go up here in the master's house. Okay, so just lightly across, just like that. Just bring it all together. Just take out all the brush strokes. Look at that. That looks like a gorgeous sky already. I'm going to darken the corners off somewhat just to draw your eye into the middle. So I'll just take a tiny bit of black. Don't want much. And just darken these corners off just like that. And that will draw your eyes down into the, the centre of the painting. There we go, right, I'm going to lay that down and pick up another brush, make sure it's nice and dry and then just feather all this out. There, and then across there like so, like that. And I think that's all we really need for a, for a sky today. A lot of colour going on already in that, it really is. Now, I'm going to pick up the palette knife and I'm going to take some... Uh, Van Dyke Brown, let's find a space to work. Van Dyke Brown, I think, uh, black. Why not get some crimson as well? There, maybe a tiny bit, the thalo blue. Blue and crimson will make a nice purpley colour. And the black, the browns there, will darken it off. So let's clear. And we're gonna paint a few little, like mountains, but they're not, well, I suppose they are, they're like rocks, I suppose. Uh, we'll start off maybe just about there, make a decision, Danny man. Okay. So it even sounds different, doesn't it, to a canvas? I think we'll be back on a round canvas next week. We may have even seen that one already, depending on which, <laughs> which one we select first to go out. I don't like doing too many of the same kind of paintings one after the other, even though mountains are very popular to do. They are quite popular. 
Okay, maybe he had another rock that's down there, like that in the background, maybe. Just push that in. Another thing with canvas boards is, is if you, because the, the board on the underside kind of absorbs all the uh, the oil quite quickly, so you've got to you've got to work quite fast. I know we work quite fast here, but uh, you've got to work quite fast to before it absorbs all the oil and you're left with the dry canvas again. Okay, so grab this paint and we're just gonna pull this down just like that. Just grab and pull down. This does two things. It removes the excess paint that's up here and it also lays out the basic shape of us, rocks and mountains. And if you can see the thing in its entirety, the hill in its entirety, the mountain, it is always more distinct on this top edge than it is down at the base because there's, there's pollution and there's fog and there's mist and there's steam and all kinds of things that are diffusing light down at the base of this this mountain just like that there we go right I'm gonna have to come back up here now and highlight some of these things okay <laughs> Could just blend this till it's absolutely smooth as silk right so let's do that okay let's go and take some white and we'll take a bit of burnt sienna a bit of crimson thrown in there as well okay maybe a bit of black just a little skim of paint on the edge of the palette knife now I'm going to come from the, the right hand side and I'm just going to lightly touch and pull down. Now you can make these rocks any colour now. You know, it works nice as in greys, but I want this a nice warm painting. Nice warm holiday painting. Work down there like so. Maybe vary the colour a little bit, maybe add a bit more of the white. So you can really see that. There. There. There, really delicate touch, really delicate. Okay, let's come up in this one and then just again, just work your way down. Hardly any pressure at all, hardly any pr pressure. Again, on this one, just up there, down. You want it to break, you want the paint to break. So the paint I'm actually using is a very thick, firm paint. I can hold the palette up there, it doesn't run off. Now if you're having trouble making this break, you can, it's either one of two or three things really. The paint is very thin, you're, or you're applying too much pressure, or you've got too much liquid white on the underside. You've got too much liquid white your paint won't come off the palette knife and it won't it won't stick there we go maybe vary the tones a little bit on this one there look at that okay let's make a shadow color so to that just a bit of blue blue will cool things down act like a shadow maybe a bit more white in there there we go see how this looks if this looks Okay, we'll go for it. If not, we can scrape it off. Start again. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe you can't really see that on the camera, but uh, we know it's there. We know it's there. Maybe a bit more white in that. Great offers on more. Yeah, look at that. And just work your way down. There we go. And we can come back, neaten all these edges up. That's a nice sharp, sharp drop. That's where the, the goats in Forte Ventura will be living on that. Some beautiful sights, beautiful sights. Same on this side there, there and there. See, they're not snow covered mountains, these. These are, <laughs> seem, to have, seem to have lost all me. Highlight colour. So let's make some more. So what was it? Burnt sienna, crimson, white. There we go. Don't overmix. Don't overmix. And then we can come back in here. Look at that. And maybe 
zigzag, neaten all that up. Just gently do that. Same on this one now. Where's this one gonna live? I'm gonna push this back. There, just let that knife bounce about. Work on the angles of this mountain. There, like so. Let's bring this around. Maybe that comes around there, like so. Right, time to steam all this base of this mountain up. So I'll just wipe the knife off. And I'm going to tap the base of these hills, these mountains. Just follow the basic outline, the basic shape. Really, really tap. And then on this side, nerve wracking. I don't want the I don't want the, the canvas to come out the easel. And when we've got that, just gently up, just take all the tap marks out. There, like so, and then just soften that off. So we've got some big rocks. Now, because we've done that, we can bring this one potentially. I've picked up the wrong knife there, but it doesn't matter. We can bring this one down now. I actually like working with a little knife. It's a lot more, you've got a bit more control over this. It's, it's half the speed, you see. Yeah. Maybe zigzag that round there like so. Maybe ah, there like that. Yes. Shadow colour, where's it gone? It's there, look. And then again, we'll just do another little shadow there. Maybe under that one as well. There, there we go. There. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Just wipe the knife off on the canvas. And once again, just tap this in. There, like so side as well just tap that in and then just lift up and down like that there how's it looking so far folks how's it looking so far right I'm gonna take a one inch paintbrush now I think we're gonna have some 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 little, uh, some greeny kind of hills. So let me, in fact, just let me scrape off a spot. Even with a palette this size, I still end up with no space to work. <laughs> okay, so, um, different brush. Okay, I'm gonna go into sap green. And I'm also gonna take some Viridian as well. Sap green and Viridian. Okay, I think. Oh, we'll do because we have some it's wonderful colours that are in these these like Mediterranean countries. Wonderful greens, wonderful looking. It's like going to an to me it is because I only go once a year if I can. I mean, we haven't been anywhere for the last few years, you know. Um, but it's like going to an alien sort of landscape with all the different kinds of palm trees and 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 shrubs and all sorts. It's, it really is kind of very bizarre and exciting. And I can't wait to get there again. Must renew my passport. <laughs> Must renew my passport. There, so there we go. Maybe take it all the way across. Okay, again, back to the big brush, which we've got hardly any color on now. And we're just gonna beat the base of that just beat it and that'll create again another layer of mist and steam that lives just there like that there and then just take out the tap marks there we go there we go in fact let's darken it off a little bit more so grab a bit of black into that darken that green off and we can take this one it's a bit too dark. I'll bring that right the way across again. There. There, like 
like so. Where are we going with it, Dan? Where are we going? Where are we going? Are we going up here? Why not? Why not? Why not? Maybe a bit of, bit of brown in that. Maybe a bit of crimson as well. It's always nice to vary the flavour of the paint. Especially when you've got big, bulky colours. Okay, same thing again. Take out the base of this tree line. Just there. I think we might have a pond in this. Nice little oasis. Pool or something like that. So there, like so. What I'm going to do is just lift up slightly. Really fine little tiny lifts. And this will look like tiny trees far away. Not everywhere though. Not everywhere. Sometimes in these... In these, uh, you know, like I'm going to call, you know, like near Barcelona and things where I've been before. I've got some massive, massive evergreen trees. And the grass, the grass is like not what we get over here in in, uh, in England, in the UK. Big, big, thick, you know, blades of grass. It's, it really is exciting. It really is. Okay, there we go. Right, so we said we're gonna put a pond in this, so What's on this brush? Nothing. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of push and blue, okay? And before we put something around the base of the pond, we probably would put something here. So just blue. I'm going to pull this down from both sides. There, like that. Just pull that down. And then just gently go across that. Very gently, nice and straight, as straight as you can. Okay, and that's his basic little pond or pool or major river. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. I don't even really care. We don't really care as long as it looks nice. Okay, back to the brush that's got the greens on this. Now we'll come in here here. Got the dark greens. I'll bring that all the way along. All the way along there, like that. Maybe leave it there. I'll fill this in. Right. So now we can grab some of this green. This has still got the blue paint on. But we're going to grab some of this green and just pull this straight down. Okay, just pull it straight down and then again gently across just to make it look like that watery effect. Okay, now what does it need now? Let's take this brush again and then just tap this, blend that into nothing. Same on this side. There we go, right now let's put some land on there. So I'm gonna take some browns, crimsons, whatever we've got, and I'm just gonna cut in a bit of land. There, and same on this side. There, just a bit of land. Okay, then we can get some liquid white. Dulled it down, it's got a bit of that land colour to it. But parallel to the base of the canvas, liquid white. And again, if you put too much liquid white on the canvas to start with, this might be a bit more difficult, but it's about right. Let's pull it out. There, like so, maybe a bit on this side. Keep that knife, that knife nice and flat. scraping some little tree trunks little things back there okay now we need to work on these sides all right 
So I'm going to take some brown into that green, brown and green, and maybe, maybe a bit of the yellows as well. And we're going to come down here just like that. Don't worry about this. We're going to box it all in with a nice couple of big palm trees. Yeah, get the sombrero on instead of the flat cap. Okay, again on here. Down we go, just like that. Let's just fill all this in. Again, we want the corners to be darker, just to, just to draw us out into the centre. Because we've got big different colours of green on there, even into the pool like so. Because we've got different greens on there, we've got a lot of variants of colour, you see. Okay, maybe a bit there, like that. Now then, let's have a look where we're gonna go with this. Where are we gonna take this? Right, so let's work on, uh, so let's grab this. And pull this down. And then just gently across with that. Just there, like so. Okay, let's take a fan brush and go into some some black and brown, just black and brown. Okay, and then let's work on. Hmm, shall we have it there? Why not? All the way down. There, like that. Now, if you get to this point and you don't want palm trees, you want to put a different kind of tree in, that's fine, you do that. If you uh, don't want any trees in, you go for it. Remember, painting is individual. Got a little bit of a crook in that one. There, like that. Painting is definitely individual. Uh, must have had some more vitamins, this one. Or a bit bigger. Okay, let's go on to the other side. So it's black and brown, basically, this. Maybe even a touch of crimson just to just to flavour it up a bit. Okay, and this one can start like there and then come down. That's where it is. That's where this one lives. Okay, down there like so. Just put some dark stuff down there. Okay, now I'm going to take a bit of paint thinner, just a tiny bit. Now you could use liquid clear for this. Okay, but we've got paint thinner. And we've gone into the greens. And we've gone into the blacks and the browns. And we want it quite thin. Okay, so I'm just going to tap around like this. Okay and place where we want the uh, the prongs or the, the fans, the branches. I don't know what they're called. I do have some palm trees in my garden as well around, around my fish pond. Oh, before I started coin collecting, because I'm a, I'm a coin collector, you know, uh, before I started coin collecting, I, I have to collect something and I started collecting trees for some strange reason. I'm obsessed with collecting trees. My garden isn't big enough for a lot of trees, <laughs> you know. And I've got a conquer tree and I've got a, uh, you know, some Christmas trees, olive trees, and different kinds of, uh, different kinds of palm trees as well. Kind of crazy, kind of crazy. Need to start chopping some back. Because when you buy them, when they're only about the same size as that fan brush, it's, it's all right. And they start getting a bit too, <laughs> and they grow up a little bit. And start taking over the old garden. Right, so same on this side. So we're just gonna, this is just lay in where we want the prongs. And it must be a nice calm still day, because if it were windy, these would be, be blowing all over the place. Maybe we've got one that comes down there like so. Yeah, like that. 
Now then, now then, let's just put some base colour down there as well. We'll come back and sort this out. Okay, again, a little tiny bit of paint thinner. If you add too much, it won't work. And if you don't add enough, it won't work. So it's about getting that consistency right. Now I'm going to go into some yellow, some, some cad yellow, just with that dirty brush, that dirty dark colour that we've already made. Okay, and then up to here, I'm going to feather the prongs. Start in the center. I'm going to try not to run out of paint. Start in the center and work your way out. Yeah, like that. Let's go for this one. Again, just in the center, like so. Yes, like that. And then just work on each individual one that's straight in front of the mountain on the hill, but that's fine, we know it's there. We know it's there. Same on this one, maybe get a bit more of the yellow. There, like so. This one, this one. Now, this could be a bit time consuming, but it's got to be done right, hasn't it? It's got to be done right. Work on there. I do love palm trees, though. It's, there's nothing no nicer than going, going abroad, the sun is shining, nice glass of sang, sang is it sangria? Yes, it is, isn't it? All the fruits in there. Chill out under a palm tree with not a care in the world. Now under the base of some of these palms, you've got a little bit of husks and all sorts just, just growing there. Cyprus, what a lovely place Cyprus is. I remember going there with my family, my wife and children. Yeah, just beautiful place, beautiful. Beautiful people as well. This gonna live in front of this one. There it is, it does now. There, there. There. So where's your favourite holiday destination, my fantastic artistic friends? Where is it? Is it abroad? Is it in England? You let me know. And would you like me to paint it as well? All right, so keep going, keep going. Yeah, like so, and then same one on here. Just feather it out. Nice dark green color with a big rib in the center. That's what we're after. There, and up there. Excuse the arm. Excuse the arm, it does get in the way sometimes. Maybe add a bit more yellow to that. Maybe these are a little bit younger. Down there, and down there. there. Yeah. That. Good stuff, eh? Good stuff. Put a bit more onto that one and that one there. Right, let's set that down. Whoop. Let's set that down without uh, throwing it everywhere. Now I'm going to just dip the script liner brush into some paint thinner. Went to some dark paint and then just under here just grab some of that just like this because we get all sorts of things living up at the top of palm trees dates i think as well dates this is what you, you get. anyway i'm just you know the fruit i think it is there's a couple that are hanging on just there and here there like so just some 
put that there and there and there. Right, nearly done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clean fan brush, if I've got one, yes I have. Okay, I'm going to go into a bit of white, a bit of burnt sienna. Okay, I'm just going to grab and just, just tickle one side, but I'm going around just to give the indication that that tree is is rounded like this there we go oh well oh, oh, oh. same on this side don't want this tree to feel left out do we we're all inclusive in the master's house yeah, just round and round and round and round and round all the way up to the top and all the way that back down to the bottom there we go, maybe there, like so, bit more, there, yes, right, let's work just in the foreground, so I'm just going to take some of this, that mucky dirty fan brush we did, I've got a bit of sap green in there, in fact it's too dirty, let's swill it off a bit, a lot of paint in that, so I've got some yellow, with the sap green and the blue. I'm just gonna work on here and just put some sideways on. I hope you can see some of those. Let's lighten it up a bit. Let's take a bit of white into that as well. That's really sparkly off. See if you can see that, that that's it, yeah. Yeah, it comes down in front, yeah. Push those palm trees back into the painting yeah, like that get all sorts of little cactuses and all sorts growing don't we in the base of these yeah we go a bit more there and there, and there that's it right nearly done nearly done folks all I'm gonna do now Bag of the flavours a little bit there. Don't keep tampering with it, or it'll end up losing its uh, its integrity. Let's put a bit of a waterline there. Maybe break that up with a bit of mud as well. There we go. Scraping a little waterline. Yeah. Take the little script liner brush. Lots of paint thinner, thin it down, thin the bright red paint down. Let me know how I've done on this one, folks. Do you like it? Do you like the colours? Okay, I'm just going to sign it just there, like so. DCT, and of course, I'll sign the back. There we go. So, let me know how we've gone on. Remember to click that big thumbs up if you like the painting on the channel, in fact. Uh, subscribe as well and until next time do take care of the same stay safe i'll see you later happy days